Once you open up Google Chat, this is what you see. On the left side, you can see that you have access to your chats right here. If you were to click on this, then you get access to your regular chats. On the bottom, you got spaces. So spaces are like different groups that you can manage out over here. You can see the plus button right here, which allows you to uh, open up a new chat or open up a new space. Over here on the bottom, you can see meet options as well, which you can use to generate out Google Meet links if you want to conduct meetings over here. Once you open up the chat, you can see that there are various options over here, like you can go around over here, access out different options. You can go around. This is where you can type in the messages. And here are other options over here, like emoji and so forth. You can go around over here on the top where you can see that you can search out for different space uh, messages, people and inside of spaces over here as well. So depending on what you're using, like chat or spaces, you can see you have different options. For example, in spaces, you got chat files and tasks, as you can see right here, which you can manage out where, especially when you're working in a team. So over here on the top left, you can go around onto the main menu over here as well. And you can see you can expand or uh, minimize this out, as you can see, uh, just like this as well. You can go around over here on the right side and over here on the top, you can see that there's active and other options over here. And over here on the right, you got settings and you got access to different Google apps from over here as well. And that is how uh, the Google Chat interface is. And in this tutorial series, we're going to take a look at each of, each of these options right here and utilize Google Chat features to its maximum potential. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.